They finally fixed the camos on the Cronin Squall. Well, maybe. We're, we're going to be finding out today. So if you don't know, there was an issue when this weapon came out where it was not tracking headshot progress for a lot of players. And uh, as you can tell here, I do not have polyatomic on it. But a little birdie told me, and by a little birdie, I mean like Twitter and some YouTube comments saying that they're finally getting progress for it. So we're going to be seeing if that's true and if we can actually get a polyatomic in Orion on it. So let's go ahead, hop in and see if they actually fixed it. Okay, so what we're going to do is just hop in, try to get the headshot. There we go. We're going to back out and see if it actually tracked our progress because I would hate to go through and get all 25 headshots again for it not to be there. Oh yeah, look at that. It's actually tracking. All right, let's knock this thing out. All right, look, I I've been a little bit of a hater ass bitch, you know, our last few videos complaining about some things. Now, I'm not normally a negative person, but I do like to complain. I will not deny that. And I feel like uh, I'm able to criticize this game if I feel like it's not going in a direction that I think it should. Because I, I play this game quite a bit. I, I play this game probably a lot more than a, a lot of people. And I just want to see it do well. You know, it all comes from a place of love. And I feel like if you can't criticize the things that you like, then what are you playing them for? Like, there's no perfect game out there where you're going to like every single little feature about it. And despite its imperfections, I still play COD and I still love COD. But I, what I'm really curious about is how something like this happens. Like, actually, somewhere in the coding... What goes on for something as like routine as camo progress not tracking happens? Now, I'm not saying this to be a hater. I just want to know like what goes wrong? Like it's got to be some really minuscule thing that's probably super annoying for like the devs to, to fix. Like it's got to be something in there where they don't even know what's wrong. Because I did my fair share of programming in high school. Uh, I took like visual basic classes, which isn't like the most insane programming language. It literally has basic in the name. Like it's not very difficult, but still even during that, uh, like little mistakes, like putting a decimal somewhere or like a comma or just like one character anywhere can just cause, cause an issue and you have no idea what the problem is with it. So I would just really like to see what goes on like over at COD HQ or whatever when they're they're adding stuff in and like wait why isn't this working and just want to see them like comb through all like the code and see what happened because it'd be hilarious if it was something like they added too much uh like bulge to an operator and then all of a sudden it fucked up some code for camo tracking progress because for the most part like with every COD that launches like with Modern Warfare 2019, there was an issue where you couldn't even get the mastery camo at like launch of the game. It took a while. Uh, with Cold War, it was the same thing. Vanguard had an issue with uh, launchers tracking progress. But this game launched pretty much without like too many camo issues, unless I'm just drawing a blank on them. So I think this is like the really the first one that we've seen. And this is in season three. So the first two seasons went off without a hitch. Like the, the weapon camo stuff was tracking. I mean, there's been some issues in this game with camos not tracking. Like I still don't think I have my P90. Like I haven't gotten that gold because it didn't show progress tracking, even though I think it does. Like there's been issues where uh, it won't show visually that it's tracking, but you still are getting the progress. But this is the first time that I remember where you just don't get anything for the gun. Because when this came out, I went through and I was, I got like more than 25 headshots. I went through and counted and it was like something like 51. So I got a little over double of what I needed. Oh, and there's polyatomic. Let's go. We got it done. And just for whatever reason, it didn't work. But it looks like it worked this time. And let's go ahead and back out and make sure that we actually got it. Oh yeah, it looks like we do have polyatomic and Orion. So let's go ahead, hop in game and see what these two look like there. But actually, before we do that, now that we we're talking about the P90, I kind of want to see if I can get it real quick. What challenge was I stuck on? Yeah, it says I only have two three kills without dying with the P90, but it also just gave me the long shots and the headshots with it. But I don't have Orion. So let me knock this out really quick. Now, I wonder if we can go to this challenges tab here and it'll show me my actual progress on it. Because I think I have more than three. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? So it says two. In the other menu, it says three. But if I highlight over it, it says I have like eight. And I've only seen this really happen where it doesn't visually show progress on like some newer weapons. Oh wait, why don't I have long shots for the wrap age? Weird. But back to what I was saying, I've only really seen that happen for like the last weapon I get out of a class. And for me, I went and I did like the Bass P I think before I finished the P90. So I think that's why I had the issue with this. But let's see if we can actually get it. There's a quick two. And there's three. We just barely got that before we died. I think I might have like the worst build for a P90 on right now. I just grabbed like the one blueprint I have for it and changed like two attachments. And this thing is a pea shooter. What a shipment. We'll be able to get all these kills eventually. There we go. Clean triple. Ooh, eat that. 
Ooh. I'm kind of going dirty nasty right now. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Why don't I have my melee button? Where is it? Eat a magnum. <laughs> That's so weird. What happened to my melee? Oh, you know what? So I have this new mouse. Uh, my old mouse went ahead and failed on me a, a little bit ago. Like my left click just was double clicking. So I got a new brand this time around and I have to like open up the little app for it every time. And I don't think it has my keybinds if I don't open that. So I, I use my uh, my little side mouse button for melee. It always seemed easier. So we're, we're playing melee lists, but it don't even matter. Maybe I should be playing on the sensitivity all the time. I, th I thought something felt off. Maybe slow sense is the way to go. Ooh, that could have been all my kills. It looked a lot cooler just sitting in front of me than it actually did in the kill feed. Oh, yeah. That's a quick rank up. Is that our camo then? Oh, it is. There's gold, baby. Oh, wait. We're still going, though. Okay, no, we're not. All right, let's back out. So now we have all the camos for this. Now this has got me curious. What other weapons am I missing camos on? It did say Rap H, which is weird. Yeah, Rap H doesn't have long shots. I don't want to do long shots. All my ARs look fine. Battle rifles are chilling. All SMGs are done. Just the Rap H over here. Shotguns are fine. Marksmans are fine. Snipers are good. Pistols are good. Launchers are good. Melees are good. But that's just in that menu. We've, we've seen a little disparity or disparagey, whatever. I don't know words. Don't ask me words. Well, let's see if it's actually not there for the rap H. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, well, <laughs> might as well get these done while we're getting all the weapons that we don't have camos for done. We'll just make this into a long shot build really quick. There we go. And let's hop into hardcore and just knock this out real quick. Who am I kidding? There's nothing quick about long shots. I guess while we're grinding these out, uh, it's been a while since we've done a gamer guy does sports talk segment on the channel. And uh, last night was the NFL draft. The Lions had two picks in the first round. And uh, I've seen a lot of uh, takes on the Lions picks saying that we, we reached on some players. And that was like my knee jerk reaction for it. But honestly, I think we did all right. Uh, the Lions picked Jameer Gibbs at, uh, what was it, 12? And we took Jack Campbell at 18. And historically, linebackers and running backs in the first round of the draft aren't the greatest, but they are definitely needs on our team. You might say that running back isn't a need for us because we already just went out and signed David Montgomery. And we already have DeAndre Swift on the roster. But, you know, there's, there's some whisperings that we might be moving on from Swift. And that there's already like trade talks on the board. Uh, I love Swift. I think he's a great player, but he's not really on the field a whole lot. But when he is, he makes some great plays. Sometimes like it seems like he has like not the greatest like ball carrier vision when it comes to finding holes. This is coming from somebody that plays Call of Duty. So, you know, take what my football takes with a grain of salt. But he is into his like fifth year. I don't think we're picking up his like fifth year option. So it's probably best to like get like a pick or two from him, you know, from trading him and then just replace that with Jameer Gibbs because he seems more of like a, a pass catching back that can kind of fit our offense better. And then as for Jack Campbell, we did just re-sign Anzalone or Anal Zone, like I like to call him. And we have Rodrigo, which was like our huge star or whatever, like the, the fan favorite coming out of uh, Hard Knocks last year. And we might have another linebacker. I don't remember who he is, to be honest. And that's probably why we went ahead and drafted a linebacker. Because I went through, you know, a little copium and was watching some uh, highlights of the players that we drafted, like their college highlights, uh, while I was taking a dump. And, you know, I'm, I'm sold. Jameer Gibbs seems like he can kind of do it all. Like, he's a running back, but he can be split out into, like, the slot and play, like, receiver and everything. Like, he seems like we can do a lot more with him. And they were very excited when they drafted him. So... They obviously know more than I do. Like they're they're over there actually working for an NFL team and I'm just wearing a hoodie playing COD thinking I know more than I do. But what the hell do I know? You know, every time the draft rolls around, everybody puts out their draft grades like the next day being like, oh, this team won the draft, this team lost the draft. We're not really gonna know till like three years down the line. Because these players have not played an NFL snap yet and we just don't know how it's all gonna pan out. These guys could be awful. They could be a reach. We could have gotten somebody better, but they could be great and they, they could work for us. And that's just what I'm hoping. But Jack Campbell, like sometimes you can just tell by players' names and just how they look in a uniform. Like, okay, that guy's a baller. Jack Campbell just looks like a linebacker and he's got, he's got one of those Hall of Fame type names. So I'm definitely, you know, blowing smoke up my own ass with this pick. But how, how can I, I not be excited? most of the time for Lions fans at least the last few years if we're not counting last year 
The only times we have excited or have to be excited is like the off season up until draft time. That's lion season. But now that we actually have a decent team and we don't have really a whole lot of holes on the roster to fill since we filled a lot of them in free agency honestly we can we can take some flyers on guys that you know maybe would have been there later but if you got somebody you think they can throw into your scheme why not pick them up now and we traded out of our first pick we originally picked at six and we traded back to 12 we got their first round pick and then on top of that we got one of the first picks in the second round in like a third rounder so i wasn't too happy about trading back but if you think you can still get the guy that you want by trading back and getting some additional picks for it why not like it wasn't the most flashy draft the most sexy draft but i think these are some players that we can just toss in immediately and we don't really have to develop too much of course you're gonna need some developing going from like college to the nfl but i think these are guys that can immediately start playing and we're starting off hot in these long shots we got a bunch to start this game and i see nobody Ooh. Oh, and that's game. How many we get? Oh, we're close. Just need five more. That was a really good game for long shots. Why can't I have those all the time? Long shots would be way less painful. Easy. And another. We got to be like two away. There we go. Is that it? Oh, it is. Let's go. Now we have every camo in the game. I didn't even know we needed this one. But you know what? We went and got it. You know, a little extra on top, maybe, if we can hit a shot nope <laughs> all right let's back out let's make sure that we actually got it oh looks like we do okay there's platt polly orion we got everything every single camo in this game we got now now let's go ahead hop in game and check out the cronin squall and polly and orion all right this is what the cronin squall looks like in game with polly atomic still don't understand why they changed up polly atomic i'm glad that they brought back the secondary color but honestly i don't feel like this camo really needs to move and it looks like with this update they almost fixed hardcore and custom games we still have the trophies collected uh ui thing and the scoreboard but at least all like the the perks and the field upgrade and everything's gone that's a step in the right direction and here's what the cronin squall looks like with orion it only took a few weeks after launch but you know what as long as we got it done we got it done it actually looks really good i will say for as much as i complain about this game the camo coverage in it has not even been an issue it hasn't even been a thought uh back in cold war we used to really think about like oh man this weapon could have such better camo coverage and they fixed it with the dlc weapons in that game but this game has had zero issues for the most part there's a few guns here and there where camos don't cover certain parts, but most of the time it looks pretty good with any camo on it. But there you go. They finally fixed the Cronin Squall, so you know we had to go and get it done. Uh, I woke up, saw that it was fixed, and just hopped right on and do it, so I'm sorry if I look crazy. And in the process, we got a few other camos that I didn't even know I needed to get done, so that's always good. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.